Tell me about this bouncer. You guys all nice and shit. He beats the living shit out of you, so really interesting guy. I had seen the original Roadhouse before I was cast, though I remember as a kid it more as an aberration. I remember the poster, Patrick Swayze and the hair, but I didn't really put it together, you know, like as a kid, those moments like that. And then I would see on TV, I remember clips of things, you know, uh, a scene here or there when it would play on television. I didn't really see the whole f original film until I was in, until I was a teenager and and then, you know, at that point, I was already like a really big Patrick Swayze fan. Um, Point Break and Ghost and Dirty Dancing and, um, and I loved it. And I've watched it many times since. I actually watched it just the other day again. And it's just so fun to watch. I just need a UFC championship belt to prove it. One of the most important things about Roadhouse is that the fight sequences be done in a way that no one's ever seen before. And uh, Doug Lyman, our director, spent months trying to figure out a new technique that you could actually see the impact of a punch on the body, on the face and body. And it was a huge responsibility for Garrett Warren and Steve Brown, who are our stunt coordinator and our fight coordinators, respectively. And they went through a number of different iterations, one of which was the idea, I got a call from Doug one day, which was, oh, you're gonna wear a helmet that's very thin, but we're gonna really punch you in the face, you know? And I was like, hmm, that doesn't sound, and then he's like, called me three days later, okay, that doesn't work, you know? Um, and then different, different forms of ideas. They finally landed on this, this technique of, first we would do a Hollywood pass, which would be the sort of thing we're all used to, which is throwing a punch at an angle for the camera and then the other actor selling the impact. You'd get that idea. And then from there, you'd put a, you take the actor out, you put a pad where the actor was who's getting hit. And the other actor would come in and they would punch the pad. So you could see the impact through the body of actually hitting something. Then the next pass was, the actor who was getting hit was put in the same spot and they would get hit with a pad so that their body would respond the way you would to something actually hitting you. And then the last final pass was a slow motion pass where both actors were put into the space and they would slowly get hit and respond so you could actually make a point of contact. When you put all those four passes together, you get the technique that you see in the movie, which is really unlike anything we've seen before. You feel the impact on both bodies and you see the impact without having to fake it. So the angles that we're used to watching as an audience are completely different than they've ever been. And that's what Doug designed with Steve and Garrett and it's wholly unique. When I found out that Conor McGregor was getting cast, I was so excited because I know that Joel Silver, our producer, had been chasing him for months to get him in the movie. Uh, Joel believed so deeply in the UFC being involved in this movie from the beginning and getting Connor, and he was right. Then when I got told that he was in it, the next wave feeling after excitement was terror, knowing that I was gonna actually have to <laughs> do a lot of fight scenes with him. Um, so it was, a, it was a mixed bag, so to speak, but then when we got to set, I was really um, impressed by Connor's humility in the process. He said to me, I'm a white belt in acting and in making movies and I'm here to learn. And I said to him, I'm a white belt in the fight game and I'm here to learn from you. And we approached the process of, you know, making this movie and developing these characters and fighting in these scenes with that, with that attitude. <laughs> Oh, I mean, one of the wonderful things about the original movie is the incredible cast, Sam Elliott, Ben Gazzara, Kelly Lynch, Patrick Swayze, um, to name a few. And this cast is equally incredible. I mean, we have 
Conor McGregor, Billy Magnuson, Daniela Melchoir, Jessica Williams, um, Lucas Gage. I mean, like the list goes on and on. Um, and it's just, yes, it's a, it's an incredible cast of kind people. They're all, you know, one of the great parts of this movie is that they built the actual roadhouse from scratch. And it became a kind of communal space. Obviously we were working and all the, all the alcohol was fake, but we all came together to watch scenes when other people were working. People would hang on the roadhouse and not in their trailers, which were, you know, 500 yards away. They just come in and sit and hang out. And there was a real lifestyle aspect to the making of this movie that was really nice. But I think all that just came from the fact that um, Doug Lyman hired wonderfully talented people, very humble people in the process, and just a great, great group. Guns, you got it! Uh, 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 right there, yes, All sir. cameras rolling! Everybody set? Here we go! And three, two, one, go! I think working with Doug Lyman on this film, it was it was perfect because, first of all, both of us are very active people. And I think we've always been looking for a movie that was like full of action and adventure. Um, but I also just think it's a perfect tone for Doug, you know, as a filmmaker. It's comedic, it's a bit tongue in cheek, it's full of action. There's some dramatic moments, but never, never more than that feels heavy handed. And it was just wonderful working with Doug. Um, he's so playful, you know? He's got, he's he's such an expert in what he does. He's so fluent in it, but he has this sort of really childlike beauty in how he approaches it to, this love of it and an innocence about it. And it's infectious. And so I just felt like I was, you know, we've spent time not making movies for so many years. It felt like we were just hanging out and then we would also shoot this thing, you know? It, it was, it's kind of what you dream of when you make a movie. And yeah, I love Doug. Thank you. <laughs> I hope that audiences have a great time. Like, I think there's so many things going on in the world. And I think to know that you're gonna walk into a movie and you're gonna watch it and you know you're gonna have a great time, I can guarantee you that that's gonna be fun, they're gonna laugh, that there's nothing to worry about. It's just great fun. That's what I hope people take from this movie. It's a movie made by, you know, a group of people who really like each other, two friends who've known each other for 15 plus years, and it's just joyful. So if you're down for a little bit of joy and you like watching some crazy fights, then, you know, come on over to the Roadhouse. It takes a lot to get me angry, but when I am, I just can't let go. People seem a little aggressive around here. Is that one in front of yours? No, I just broke his arm. <laughs> <laughs>